Now, we need to display comments, for each post. Removing unnecessary code. We do not need a separate query, to get the comments. Because each post, has its comments, embedded in its own, document. So we are just applying, for, each loop. Replacing dummy text, with actual values. By default, the new comments should be, on top. So we are going to just reverse the array. By using JavaScript, reverse function. Now, what if some post does not have any comments? So we need to apply a condition, which checks if that post has any comments. In next tutorial, we will teach you to upload images using Node.js.